tribe in the Amazon, they sort of incredibly special, but you really need to find them and search for them. I had no idea who Rima Rima was. They were faceless, very mysterious to me. It's such a shame. There is no kind of celluloid posterity for Rima Rima. There's no live footage. You can't see what they were like because they were just a small blip in this post-punk ocean. Rima Rima just had something which set them apart. They're not like anybody else. I saw Rima Rima at the screen on the green. They were unique. So the first time I heard Rima Rima, I had never heard anything like it. It would always be in my top five greatest singles ever released. I feel that record sort of set the benchmark for 4 AD. That Rima Rima record was part of my growing understanding of what music was. Unfortunately, they only did this one record. It actually, in some ways, allowed us to rewrite the history of post-punk. It's like a slice of oral archaeology. You can hardly blame people for not discovering us. He's just trying to do something that hadn't been done before. We've been resurrected. Rima, Rima. What you could not be so like that, watch us go the ball. Rima, Rima! Well, now, a band that no longer exists called Rima, Rima. 